Balling out, but not balling out. Let's talk money. All we talk is 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 money. We all know money talks. Well, Saws does too. Welcome to Saws Talks Money. I'm your host, Adam Sosnick, and today we're talking money with NBA baller for the Miami Heat, my man, Kelly Olynyk. What's up, my guy? What's up, my guy? For your kids at home that might not know Kelly, read up. But if you don't, tell us about when you grew up, a little bit about yourself personally before we start talking baller. I was born in Canada. Uh, you know, I lived up in Toronto for you know 14 years, and then moved uh, cross country to British Columbia, north of Vancouver, to a place called Kamloops. Kamloops. Kamloops, up in the mountains. Uh, but yeah, lived up there, and then went to school out in Gonzaga University, Spokane, Washington, and then made it back east to Boston when I hit the hit the big time show. Um, you played for the Celtics, you got drafted for the Celtics, you've been with the Heat, obviously the show was talking money. Your first contract, what was the exact numbers, do you remember? The first four years was gonna be like 10 million, 10, 10 million. Four years, 10 million. Something like so that. So you go from being just like a high school, college kid, and all of a sudden you're like, all right, I'm, I'm a millionaire. Yeah. Here it is. What was the first check you got? What was it? First check I got. Um, I mean, yeah. What was that? What was that? It was like fifty thousand dollars. Boom! What you doing? I, you know what? It was it was kind of like a, a surreal thing. I didn't really do anything. I just kind of I just needed to like get an apartment, <laughs> you know, find some You're stuff. You're like I don't know. I got some Subway like, and yeah, uh, yeah, you yeah. Know, I got the sandwich. And I still friends. go to Taco Bell <laughs> drive through. Oh hell, I don't care. I'm still real. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. Let's talk. Let's talk. You 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 ball out for the Celtics. Olenek, count it. You have this unbelievable game seven. Olenek drives in. Beat the Wizards. Oh, Kelly Olenek, the game of his life. Go on to the Eastern Conference Finals. End up losing to Cleveland, but now you're a free agent. Yeah. And now this is the summer that basically makes KO's life. Now you're in for a big payday. And it's no secret, you end up signing with the Miami Heat, four years, $50 million contract. Ridiculous, what's that emotional whirlwind like? Miami gave me a call. They you know, said, we got an opportunity for you down here for, for X amount of dollars, X amount of years, and I jumped on it. Were they the only suitor at that point? Or were there other things out there? No, I mean, they weren't the only one. There was a right. few, few other options, but right. you know, I thought Miami was the best fit for me. You know, great city, great yeah. organization. You know, all you hear about is this culture. Yeah. And this, you know. Who's building. calling you? Is Pat Riley calling you? Is Pat Spoke Riley, calling Pat, The yeah. legendary Pat Riley is like, hey, Kelly, this is Pat Riley. How's yeah. your day going? Yeah, pretty much. And did he tell you the numbers right there on the phone? I mean, it, I mean, there was. Andy Ellisberg, he's yeah, the they numbers were guy. Like, yeah. You know, this is kind of what we can do. And like, uh, I mean, you know, there's some offers that are obviously a bit higher than that. Yeah. And they're like, okay, we'll like try to get a little more. So there's a little negotiation. Yeah, I mean, going that's on. where your agent comes in. Yeah. You know, makes kind of magic happen, and then, yeah, after that, it was a it was a done deal. So at what point were you just like, all right, what's the numbers? Yeah, I mean, they told you the numbers before. Straight up. Yeah. So when you heard the numbers, and maybe, maybe I'd rather hear you come out of your mouth. When you hear those numbers, what's that like? That feeling like, hey, we're about to offer you a four-year, yeah. $50 million contract. Yeah. When you hear those numbers, like, are you just like, yeah, bro, bet? Or are you just like, what's up? Like, Yeah, I mean, um, no, yeah, the thing is, like, you get kind of, not numb to it, but... yeah. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. Yeah, you know it's coming. You and knew you, those numbers were coming. Yeah, for like a couple of years. You knew, you know, that, Straight you know up. they're coming, right? So it's not like any different. But now, like looking back and like looking at it now, you're like, damn, fifty million dollars is a lot of money. A, a, a lot, a lot of money. So we came here, signed the papers, and uh, yeah, once you sign on that line, there's nothing else. There it is. You're guaranteed. You are guaranteed fifty million, 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 million. I'm getting goosebumps over here. Yeah. Do you get goosebumps when you say those numbers out loud, or it's just like it is what it is? Um, yeah. I mean, I don't really think about you know having it because right. 
You don't have it all yet, yeah, but it's you don't coming. Have it all yet. I mean, it's all yeah. going to come, but right. or you don't have it all yet. And, you know, what are you really going to do with that money? You don't, you don't even know. I mean, there's lots of options. I'll tell you what he did with that money. So, um, you know, Miami. So you're like, Saz, uh, what's going on? You mind if I, you mind if I uh, put my luggage down at your, at your spot? I'm going to be doing some traveling. Can I keep my luggage at your place? Right? And I'm like, actually, yeah. you know what? Um, I'll do you one better. I'm traveling this summer. Go ahead and take my apartment. True. Right? Very true. You yeah. have my apartment. You held it down. Yeah. So and you're staying at my place and you're looking for a spot. Yeah, kind of you know, coming down to Miami. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't really know the city. Yeah. So, you know, do I like this area? Do I like this area? I don't know where I'm going to stay. I crash at your place. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm in LA. Oh, all right, dope, dope. Right. All right. So sleeping in the the sauce apartment. Yeah. And uh, yeah. The so one bedroom. It's a one. Be a nice one, one bedroom. bedroom. Yeah, yeah. Nice one nice bedroom. Nice one bedroom. Yeah. Marble floors, a little pool table. Yeah. Water yeah. machine. <laughs> he's got, he got it all. What more can you ask for? What more there? can you ask for for a for a 26 year old baller? So yeah. then, this is where the story gets good. I said, Hey, Kels. Uh, I'm on the flight home now, dog. You got an apartment yet? Um, no siri, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> no siri, Bob. It's like, all right, well, uh, what's your plan? Yeah, and uh, that's a good question. What was my plan? My plan, I didn't have one. That, that, was, that was probably my first flaw. So, you know, I'm, I'm all about that, you know, save that money. But I mean, what am I really going to do? Get, you know, get a hotel in Miami by myself? I mean, like, how fun is that? Yeah. Not, Not fun. that fun. Yeah, so, I mean, you had a, you know, a prime real estate in the living room, leather couch, <laughs> sectional, big L to it, had a long side and yeah. a short side. Yeah, I mean, like, pull up. I was holding it down. Yeah. You had to come home. I had to sleep on the couch. I mean, <laughs> everybody, would, everybody yeah. in their right mind would do. Yeah, just like a normal person would yeah. do. Yo, can I hit the couch? Yeah. Right, all good. Uh -huh. The funny part about it is, all right, cool, Kelly hit the couch. Kelly the couch on Linux. So a day goes by. Couch. Couch. Two days goes by. Couch, couch. Couch, couch. Three days goes by. Couch, couch, couch. couch, couch. couch. A month later, Essentially, Bro, we my up. man Kelly Olenek is crashing on the couch. Bro, fifty million dollars in the bank, crashing on Saz's couch. Thirty straight couches, fifty straight <laughs> couch, million. Couch, couch, Kate. So, yeah. and that's what I love about Kelly Olenek. That's what is so amazing about you is that you are the baller who's not a baller. You're so freaking down to earth. I don't know an NBA player that would do something like that. Maybe a night. But for straight preseason, KO over here is just crashing on Saz's couch. 50 million ready in the bank. Yo, can I hit the couch again? I'm like, you got it, bro. It's your world. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, what the people don't know is, I mean, your proximity to the, <laughs> to the arena right, is pretty right. darn special. I'm right, like, I'm living right across the street right from Miami Heat arena. arena. Your commute to work is maybe a hop, skip, and a jump. Yeah. Who's got it better than KO at this point? The weather's point? warm, the couch is warm. <laughs> We're in Miami. Yeah. I mean, what do you guys want from me? What do you guys want? Um, I love that about you, bro. This yeah. kid's crashing on my couch, $50 million, clearly have enough money to rent a hotel, but you're like, let me just hit my boy's couch. Let me hit the couch. I think it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I think that's. I think the people at home are gonna find that amazing. What about just keeping it real? What I mean, what what, what should the kids know about? It ain't about the money. It ain't about the ball. And just keeping it real. What What do you want the kids at, at home to know about about that message right there? Just yeah, I got the loot, but I'd rather crash on my boy's couch. No, obviously you can. You can you get a hotel. You know, I yeah. can you know get Airbnb for Easy. whatever. Um, you know, you can do a lot of things, but, um, you know, just kind of, I mean, it's, it's not, it's not what you can do. It's what you need to do. You know what I mean? What, what do you really need in life? You know, other than, you know, the, the Roof necessities. Roof over your head, yeah. you know? Yeah. Some Close food. to work, yeah. some food, some sushi. Yeah. I homies. Mean, it's, it's all about that. I mean, yeah. You know, it's not about the bling. No, it ain't not. about the chicken wing. It's no. just about doing your thing. Yeah. It's see about what I did there? Yourself, you see know? what I did there right there? You know, a lot of it's, uh. You know, it's it's who you are. Yeah. You know, not what you have. And, I love uh, that. You know, that's 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 big. And you know, for me, 
No, that's all. That's all I needed. Yeah. All I needed was that couch. All I need chill, in this yeah. life is sin. Is me and my couch so. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna rewind a little bit. Re rewind a little bit and tell you know we really. I remember we were in an Uber one night on our way to obviously a sushi dinner and uh, a song came on or a story came up and we were talking about Harry Hudson, mm. your guy. My dude, yeah. You know where I'm going with this story, right? Yeah. If you don't know Harry Hudson, he's a musician. Musician, yeah. In New I was York, in New sorry. York, and um, I went to a dinner, and there was a bunch of people there. You know, Stafford? I think it was Stafford's yeah, birthday. Yeah, Stafford Schlitt. What's up, yeah. Staff? Um, and so we all went out for dinner, get to talking to him, and you know, he really kind of, <laughs> kind of opened my eyes yeah. to the world and and what's really important in life, and um, you know, I think a lot of where I get you know my vibes and my kind of energy from yeah. is. Is kind of you know what he's kind of brought really? into my world. Yeah. What did he share with you that night? He he was a musician, an artist, and you know on the same day he was gonna sign a contract or a record deal. Yeah. He also got diagnosed with cancer. You know you're gonna sign this multi-million dollar record deal. Yeah. It's kind of like getting drafted. You're gonna go to the NBA. You're gonna get drafted. You're gonna make all these millions. They diagnose you with cancer. They pull your pull, pull your contract. contract. God Almighty. And, uh, you know, he told me that, you know, whatever you do in life, you know, make sure that you, you enjoy it. Yeah. And, you know, make sure you're happy. Because if you aren't, then, like, screw it. And he said what he learned from all these older people is that, you know, your life goes. You know, there's, it doesn't, life doesn't wait for anybody. Yeah. You know, life goes <clears throat> and it keeps going. So make sure that, you know, you're, you're enjoying your life. And not in a crazy way, like YOLO, like let's right. enjoy this life. Right, it's not about yeah. popping bottles, yeah. buying things. Like, no, it's more like, are you, some, like are, organic. You, are you happy with what you're doing in life? Yeah. You know, is, is life, you know, fulfilling you and making you happy? Yeah. If it's not, then change it. And I want to be with the people who are feeding that same positive energy and vibes yeah. and just ride that wave. Ride that wave. Yeah. That's what's up. Harry. So in the so, summer. Yeah. Tip my hat to him, bro. That's how I live. That's the vibe, and just keeping it positive, and yeah. just being you. Yeah. No, you're not blinging. You're not. You're not in a three-piece suit. No. You're not driving a Lambo. No. You're driving a just a random truck. All we talk is money. All we talk is money. You no, know, you are a product of your environment. Yeah. And however you grow up, you know that's kind of the life and that you'll entail and and you'll live, and wherever whatever you're around. And when you're in this this NBA lifestyle of you know, money, fame, you know, high fashion, high class, yeah, fancy cars, you know, fat, uh, clothes, yeah. jewelry, you know, you're kind of a product of it. And, you know, the more you're around something, the more you spun into that web. Yeah. And it's like, you know, that's what you, you do because that's what's around you. Right, that's, you're, you're a product of your environment yeah. type of thing. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, for me, it's kind of like, reinforcing that you know I, I mean i don't need that stuff yeah i mean that's not me that wasn't me for the first 21 years of my life so why should it why be now the, yeah, right why should it be in your so 22? that vibe comes your way you just kind of give them the stiff arm heisman pose no i mean I don't, I don't block anything away yeah. i welcome it if that's your vibe i'm saying for yeah, your cool. inter internally if that's, that's not, i mean no that's not right. my vibe i mean that's, right. that's you just not do me. you you stay in your lane always always you got the cap on yeah never never leave without a hat yeah you got the, uh, our boy Don Ye, Ye, Don Ye. Uh, he's got it. Why don't you spit some some lyrics about what the the Kelly O lyric with the fit? Don Ye, that's my homie. Yeah, he's an up and coming artist. Yeah. Um, yeah. Shouts to him. He, he's got some big things coming out. But I mean, that's obviously when I played for the Celtics. Yeah. But we can we can change the lyrics to to the Heat. Yeah. Yeah. I'm an old Linux in a Heat cap, getting money in my Miami trap. Ooh. Oh. That might be the new vibe. Woo, it's a vibe. Remix. Petty change, I ain't talking that. I'm with old Lennox in a Boston cap. Now, hopefully the kids don't understand why we are so simpatico with the Save That Money movement. Save That Money, it's a vibe, man. Yeah, it's, it not, about, it's not about material items. You, you know, obviously so can afford whatever you want. In Boston, you know, yeah. I, have a couple, I have a friend, his name's George. George Sarkis, and, and he likes to spend money. Yeah. He's, he's a spender and he's like 
Yo, Kel, yo, Kel you, you gotta spend some time, like spend some money, do something. Yeah. And it's not like I'm frugal. I'm just, no. I, I, I consider myself more savvy. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna spend on stuff that I, that's not necessary. Right. And he's like, well, I mean, he has Boston accent, strong yeah. Boston accent. Let me hear, let me hear that accent. Let's, let, let's uh, hear a little something, something. Like, like, bro, you're not gonna save the money, kid. <laughs> like, just, just spend a little, spend a couple dollars, like just a couple. And uh, I'm like, you know what? Is, is it really worth it? What, what do I need to spend it on? Yeah. And he was like, you can't take it with you when you go. Right. And I'm like, yeah, but you can leave it for someone. Ooh. Yeah, you can't take it with you, but you can leave it for someone. Right. Yeah. That's what's so, up. So, I mean, that's, that's real. Yeah. No, that's real. And, um, but yeah, save the money is a vibe. When I, quick story, you know, when I first got in the NBA, now I got like a two bedroom apartment with a loft out, out near the practice facility in Waltham. And I had to furnish the place, right? And I've never, I don't know if I told you this story before. I'm, I'm all ears, baby. And so, you know, I had to furnish the place and I never, you know, furnishing a, an apartment is, is not easy if you've never done it before. I mean, you gotta get couches, TVs, chairs. It's a blank slate, you gotta table. fill it in, right? Yeah, so I'm, now I'm going, like I got my like $50,000 Vance and I'm going to these furniture stores and like couches are like, Two twenty five hundred dollars. A table's like twelve grand plus the four seats, eight seats. What do you need? How many? You know, I mean, am I having a dinner? Couches, couches, couches. Which one should I pick? Couches, 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 couches. Which one should I pick? How big of a table do I need? Am I gonna have how many dinner parties for eight? Am I gonna have? You know what I mean? Not many. But so I'm. The, I gotta furnish this apartment, and I'm like driving around all these furniture stores. I mean, I'm adding up all this money, and it's like shit. I mean, this is this fifty thousand dollars is not gonna go that far, and it's. You know? Right, and so you know, I kind of drive by and I see this like kind of thing flapping in the wind on this telephone post, and I like wait, hold on, and I put it in reverse. Like, there's a garage sale, Ooh. a garage sale right off the street from me, and I like so I I roll into the garage sale. I'm like, this is crazy, and I roll in, and there was a doctor that was moving out of town, so I furnished my whole apartment, for, like sixteen. Eighteen hundred dollars from a couple garage sales. Just hit that garage sale, save that money. Bro. Yeah, a couple couches, tables, chairs, vacuum, toaster, coffee maker, TV, garage sales. Garage sales. So hot tip for the kids. Garage sales. Save that sale. money, man. All we talk is money. All we talk is money. Hopefully the kids at home are entertained. Hopefully they understand that it's not about material items or stunting or flossing, that it's about just staying in your lane, focusing on you, being the best person you can be, dialing in on what you want to do in life, and just going for it. Definitely that, definitely yeah? that, yeah. I mean, I think, you know, you know, for kids and stuff, you know, just always be yourself. You know, always be yourself. And, you know, don't try to, to live outside of your, your means or your comfort zone. You know, just kind of, now go about life in, in the way you want to. And uh, you know, whatever it is you do, um, you know, you'll never be upset at yourself for saving money. You know, you, you see all this time people are like, damn, like, bro, I shouldn't have bought that. Like, why, why did I do that? Yeah. But you never see people like, damn, I really should have spent that $700. Well, yeah. What am I gonna do with $700? I really should have spent right. that. You know, Amazing that point, you yeah. always hear people Kicking themselves. Why did I need to go spend four hundred dollars last night at the bar? Did I really need that pair of tennis shoes? Exactly. But no one ever looks at their bank account and be like, "Man, do I really need this ten grand sitting here? Yeah. Man, why did I save all this money? You know? Right. Exactly. And once you can kind of get, it's a mentality thing. It's not it a. It's a mentality. It's thing. just like a, hey, I'm comfortable with who I am. Yeah. And I, I, think, I don't. I think for me, in like one way, and in, in today's day and age, it's. And I'm saying this like I'm like, like yeah, back like, in my day. Yeah, like I'm back in yeah. like, like shekels. Right. <laughs> you know, Shout but, out to the shekel collectors yeah. out there. Um, but like in in the world we live in today, with you know all this, like your money is digital. And you yeah. Have, like, cards and like on your phone, Apple Pay. Yeah. And the, the problem is you never see the money leave. Right. It's not, it's not. It's tangible, not tangible. It's right. not tangible at all. Right. And so for me, in like college, I mean, not having a lot of money and like, you know, trying to learn how to budget and stuff. You know, I always had cash because, you know, if I had a hundred dollars for that month, I mean, 
If you, you had a hundred dollars, if you spent right. twenty five dollars, you're like, damn, bro, this is twenty five dollars leaving my hand, and this is all I have left. Right. You know, that's one thing that's kind of, you know, if you're if you're a younger kid and you you can't really comprehend it and you're not really tracking your stuff, you know, that's one thing. And and the other thing of advice I would have I would give to these uh, to people today is, you know, know how much it costs to be you. You know, how much does it really cost to be Bob or Sally or Jimmy or, you know, what does it cost? You know, what does it cost to be Kelly? Yeah. You know, you have your your living costs, you know, whether you have a car, whether yeah. you have a phone, you know, entertainment costs, do you have a gym membership? I mean, all this stuff, like how much does it cost to be you for a month? Cable, heat, air yeah. conditioning, internet, whatever it is. I mean, all this stuff adds up. And so, you know, all these expenses, like what does it cost to be you? Does it cost 1,500 a month? Does it cost 3,000 a month? Does it cost yeah. 20,000 a month? Right, add it up. Know what it costs to be you and make sure you're living with that. And then once you know what it costs to be you, look back at it and figure out how can you make it cost less to be yourself. Ooh. And you know, that's something that I, I did, you know, after, you know, being in the MBA and, and seeing like, wow, I spend, you spend a lot of money and you don't even realize it. Yeah. Is, you know, how can you make it cost less to, to be yourself? And you know, that's something if you're really trying to get on that save that money vibe, it's a little piece, piece of homework that could help you out. Anything else that we want the kids at home to know or should we just get them a save that money and sign out? What I do you mean, think? I think, yeah, as long as you're, uh, as long as you're, you're trying to save, you're on the right path. Love that. We'll drop the theme song and we out this piece. Save that money, young fella. <laughs> All we talk is money, all we talk is money, all we talk is money, all we talk is money.